something small. Still fresh. Must be close. Show yourself, and I will be merciful in how I kill you. I got you, Papa. You should have seen your face. Those tracks you left for me, Kamaria. They were a clever decoy. You taught me well. <laughs> but you didn't remember your own teachings. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child- Must leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... It is normal to feel scared. It is? Yes. So use it to make yourself more focused and less reckless in battle. I must admit, I do feel a little scared, but I will be stronger for it. We don't have long. Before you leave, I promised you the tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Mount Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. Standing with others makes you stronger. There is much you can gain by having someone at your side. Like you and Mama. Yes. She is much tougher than you. <clears throat> you are doing very well. I remember my first, and how much it hurt. Papa, there's so little time, and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. Then you run, and live to fight another day. Great warriors always use their minds, like I do. Yes. I will be cautious. And what if... <clears throat> What will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. And I will be more proud than my simple words can express. It is done. 
It is us. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! Like you said, it's normal to feel scared. I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. of you, Kamaria. You will do well at the training grounds. I'm gonna miss you, Papa. There is no reason to. Look at your tattoo and know I am always with you. I will. Papa, I must go now. You have to let me go sometime. It's a long walk on the warrior's path. <sighs> Goodbye, Kamaria. Goodbye, Papa. should have let her go. Maybe... Maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here! This is where we run. Intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. What are you talking about? You got us out of there. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be getting squeezed to death by Drax. Oh, you're right. I was the hero. The ship! There's my girl! Hurry! 
me, Rocky! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat, we're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am... A tree? Stop yanking my tail! I'm not in a rush to find out. Whatever it is, it has feelings. They're pure, relentless. Oh, that's just... It's gargantuan and moon. Nibbin is plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! I feel something. Someone is... starving. No, bigger! My hunger has no equal. Ah, once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big blue! Yes, Big Blue is a perfect name for this beast. Budget Pete! Not today! Are we dead? Uh, not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? This slimy cave. It is... A big old stomach. Nebula, how could I... What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait! Plug her back in, Peter. No. Suck. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. God damn it, Quill. He's trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. It can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. Just there. Wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. Thank you. For helping us back there. You risked yourself for all of us. And look where it got me. At least, Gamora's okay. It was my idea to put off. This... in my body. <laughs> Told everyone it was so I could be... better. <laughs> Thank Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. <laughs> I loved her. You don't have to. She already knows. Really? It doesn't matter. It's too late for Gamora and me. I'm a living reminder of her. 
I'm with Thanos. She can't move on until that last... That last piece of him is gone. And things will be better soon. For everyone. Look, this might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter, for listening to this. <laughs> Whatever it is. Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to... I don't know people trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I know. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. There's Nebula still. I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Just want to focus on. In the end, she was one of us, a guardian. I think she liked it, <laughs> being part of something good for once. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah, and she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean... I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. All right. Let's 
find some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. Desperate times, right? When aren't they? Please don't jump in the Well, it burst into flames. So time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. Too. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Hope this creature doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. ideas on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Huh. Nothing. Had to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best down here. Great. Now I'm inside an upset stomach. There's a rhythm to it. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of that. No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any. No, Drax. Yeah. 
No engines here. This whole stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. What's up, Kimura? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there, finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. Busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Mind if I do? Peter, what if we just dispose of Nebula's cyborg parts? No.
Uh, Peter, I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Bingo. Progress? 